Hello everyone, welcome to Gyan's SP.NET C-Sharp tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create a website using master page in SP.NET C-Sharp using Visual Studio. So, here first follow this step, we will follow this step, open Microsoft Visual Studio, then click on the file new website, then pop up left side column templates, Visual C-Sharp, as we know, we are using Visual C-Sharp. So in middle panel, I'm just creating the empty website and in the bottom, if you want to change the name of the web website, then here we can change the name and empty website will create. And as per this uh, tutorial, we will use the master page. So what is the master page? You should know. So SP Doctor master page allows you to create a consistent layout for the pages in your application uh, a single master page defines the look and feel and standard behavior that you want to all of the pages of a group of pages in your application means that we some code we want to create in the for the master page and we want to use that code or that design to the all, all the other pages so we can include on the page so I'm going through the first option steps. So first open the Visual Studio. I already opened the Visual Studio. Go to the file, new, and then website. So there is a left panel. I'm just selecting the Visual C Sharp and middle one SP dot empty website. And I want to change the name of the website. So website with I am giving the name of the website and click on OK. So my website is created. Let me just create the master page. So for the creating the master page, click right click on your website name, go to the add, add new item, and here's a search for the master page. So this is the my master page. The master page dot master. So I am placing the code in the separate file. Means I'll just I'll show you. So click on add. See dot cs page is a code side page. So I am just clicking the code side page in the separate page. I don't I'm not putting all the code. Means dot uh, cs page and s master page in the same page. So like that I did. And whenever you will create the other page using the master page. So right click on the master page sorry project name and go to the add add new item and here go to the web form and here the checkbox is there to select master page so if you check click on the checkbox and you will add the page so it will ask you the master page if you have multiple master page in the folder then just click on the particular folder so you will get the master page in the right side so click on ok so yeah master page is created now see the page content so page content is a depend upon the placeholder id and here is the master page so go to the master page and see all the html codes are written here and only one thing is different here I am calling for the content placeholder and id is head and another id is content placeholder id1 so it will refer the two content placeholder on the pages where we will just include the master page so go to the default.aspx and see here here is the head so whatever you will write between this page it will just reflect on this place and whatever you will write on the content placeholder folder 1 it will reflect on the head middle head in this space just i am going to write something to Let me write some class. Okay. 
if db i'm trying to put all the class and then to put it d with the html tag so no need to put the dot for that for the class or has for the id so i'm putting let me run the page so never run the master page just run in the whatever the page you created as page page so click here right click on run so see welcome to sp.net if you go and control plus u for the page source here you can see in the in the head tag there is a style and this style is written in the default page default page but all the html tags are coming from the uh, from the master page just i'll give you the example one more thing here i'll write I'm putting the title for that and just let me replace the page. See, my coding is coming here. You can see the title is here, or title is written in the master page, and style is written in the de default page. In the default page, but all the codes are appending each other. So, this is this is why we have made so i created the master page and in later on video you will see how to use the multiple master page in multiple pages when we will just integrate the template thank you for watching